In our last tick video, we learned that ticks are not insects. They have eight legs, so they're arachnids. Also, deer ticks, the ones that give you Lyme disease, are a reddish brown color with a dark shield on their back. And maybe the most interesting fact, after feeding, ticks can swell. Up to 100 times their original size. But you know, amongst all this tick information, there's one question that we didn't answer. How? How are ticks able to expand like balloons and go from this to this? Hmm, that's interesting. There are a few explanations, but this is the big one. The answer is in their skin. Let's take a look at the surface of an unfed tick under a microscope. Huh, it seems like there are a bunch of ridges on the surface. Here's what it looks like from the side. The top layer of the tick's skin is all scrunched together in a bunch of tight folds or pleats. Hmm. Now let's see what things look like as the tick swells up. Will its skin look any different? Here it is at the beginning. Now let's see halfway through feeding. And now towards the end of feeding. Here's everything side by side. The ridges kind of look like they're widening. Let's take a look from the side. Ah, they're stretching out. So, in a way, the surface of a tick is kind of like a piece of paper that's folded up a bunch of times. And as the tick swells and grows while feeding, those folds stretch way out. And that's how ticks can swell up to 100 times their original size. But that's not all. People often ask, where do I get all of these specimens? Well, I'll show you. Click the join button below to see some exclusive behind the scenes tours of the museum collections that I film in.